Alright, so guys, coming here to talk about the A, B, C, D of what nutritional assessment. So, a nutritional assessment, you are trying to what assess a person, an individual. Alright, assess this individual and trying to find out about their nutritional status. You get. It? So, there is a concept in this nutritional assessment known as A, B, C, D, and this A, B, C, D is simply what the mnemonics to remember the components of nutritional assessment. So let's establish this mnemonics first before we talk about the components now. A means what? Anthropology. Anthro anthropometry, sorry. Anthropometry, okay? B means what? Biochemical tests. C means what? Clinical assessment. We are doing all those physical examination and history taking from the patients. Then D means what? Dietary assessment. You get it. So all these collectively form the components of what nutritional assessment but if you have to talk about them one by one it's actually something bulky so they usually what they broke it down to the letters so said that what was the, the full question was uh direct method of nutritional assessment is represented by the letters a b c d so what do the letters stand for so you have to actually just explain so we started from uh, um, anthropometry measures biochemical tests, clinical assessment, and dietary assessment. So let's talk about it one by one. So the ABCD of nutritional assessment is a systemic approach. You have to take it one by one, okay? And accordingly. So it's a systemic approach to evaluate an individual's nutritional status, okay? So here is what each letter stands for. Letter A stands for what? Anthropometry measurements. So these are physical measurements of the body. That's when you try to measure the person's height and weight. So from measuring the person's height and weight, you get to what? Divide the height. Um, you, you, okay, you basically take a ratio of them and you find the, the body mass in the exact BMI. Okay? So for the height and weight, these ones are indicators of the growth and development of that individual. Body mass index. This calculates what? Weight, which is related to height. Okay? And that's where you get to see if the person is normal weight. If the person is underweight, if the person is overweight, if the person is obese, all right? The weight circumference. This one you're trying to access for what? Abdominal fat. That's what uh, they call abdominal obesity, all right? The skin fold thickness. You are trying to what? Measure the fat, the subcutaneous fat, all right? They're going to let that be now, which is biochemical test. These ones, you are trying to do laboratory analysis of the person's body fluids, okay? So you could do blood tests, like measure the nutrient levels, like for vitamins and minerals. The urine test, you can what? Assess the excretion of nutrients and metabolites. Like in urine now, you're trying to check if the person is making normal urine. The next thing, you are trying to see if there's blood in urine, that's hematuria. The next thing, you're trying to see if there's protein in urine, that's what? Proteinuria. Okay? They are also trying to check if there's ketones in urine, that's what? Ketonuria. All right? Then lipid profiles, you are trying to evaluate the cholesterol and triglycerides. Do these people have too much cholesterol? You know when somebody has too much cholesterol, there is what? High risk of what? Deposition of these cholesterol in the blood vessels. And this will cause what? Atherosclerosis. All right, there are clinical assessments. This one is just physical examination and medical history. You are asking the person so many questions, all right? Which you guys will get to learn when you start your clinicals, right? Um, in, 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 in the fourth year, it's basically what history taken from patients. It's a skill that every doctor must actually learn, okay? So for physical science, you are looking out for symptoms like is there hair loss? Is there skin problems? Is there yellow, uh, yellow coloration of the eye? Do they have dry mouth? Do you understand? So you look out for all of that. In medical history, you are trying to ask for a lot of things. Does anybody in your family has any disease? Bro, you ask the patient a lot of questions and the patient might be shocked like, ah, how far? Do you understand? So, but that's actually part of the practice. Then dietary history, you actually review what the person eats, the eating habits and the food that they eat, okay? Then dietary assessment. This one is basically analyzing what food and nutrient intake, all right, where you actually give them food frequency questionnaire. You can ask the you can arrange a questionnaire with some questions about their nutrition and give the patient to answer. Okay. Then 24 hour or dietary recalls. This way you ask the patient to talk about everything they have eaten within a day. Then for food diaries, you can ask the patient that okay, go take this book. 
for a month everything you eat every day when you wake up you write the date anything you eat record it for me then after the month they bring the diary to you okay so that's it for the a b c d of nutritional assessment